Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to do another interactive removable element like we did in this last video. This was the last video that we did in this album. This is the interactive removable embellishment element situation that we put on the front cover. I haven't, it's not finished of yet, of course. This back side isn't finished. These have not been um, matted in any way, shape, or form. But if you want to see this video, it is in the playlist that I created for this album. I will link that up there in the cards and down below in the description box. Um, a playlist where we start with the introduction to the new set of templates, the add-on, and then what we're going to be using, and then the covers, and then uh, this. Matter of fact, I should just check really quick. And then this video here was the last one we just did. So the paper collection we're using in this album is the Plant Department by Prima. I have it all linked down below if you want to check it out in the description box. And the templates that we're using are the Basically Amazing Foundations in the Flower and the Basically Amazing Enchanted Decorative Edge Add-on in the Flower. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to play on the magnets we're going to use the magnets that are on the other side of this cover. We're going to put a, a removable interactive element here as well. Using the out, like these magnets here, they are literally grabbing onto the magnets that are on the other side here. Okay, so they're going through this chipboard pretty easily. But then I thought I would add two more, the ones that are holding this closed. I thought I would add two more here. And that way, whatever whatever we put here um, is going to stay. Does that make sense? I know it's a lot of magnets, but I think it's worth it. And before I I, I want to remove, see the cover. I want I wanted to make this removable so that we could lay this flat. Oops. So we could lay it flat and work on it. Plus, it's just fun to have interactive elements in your album. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to move these aside for a minute. So I'm going to take some tape and I'm just going to go right over top of those two because we're going to mat this again. So I'm going to go over top of that one and over top of that one. Okay, so now I can take this off like that. I'm gonna set this aside. This was this turned out so pretty, you guys. I love this so much. I think there we go. I think that looks better. Anyway, I just love the way this turned out. It's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside, and these magnets are still here because the magnets are on the other side of the cover. So actually, I could let's just do it. Let's just go ahead and cover these Um, also, I have a special collections list down below underneath the video here. It's a collections of all of the printables that I'm using from my Etsy shop. So instead of having a bunch of different links for the for the printables from my Etsy shop, I just put them in a collection and I put a link to that uh, down below. So you can see everything that I'm using in this album specifically. Okay, so I think what I'll do, I think what I'll do is, I'm going to put this aside for a second. And I'm going to show you all the templates that I have prepped and ready to go. I'm going to show you the templates that I have prepped and ready for this page setup for today's video. So let's start with the foundations. First thing is I printed page 49A, which is the mat for the covers. I printed that in the flower background. So I've got that. Just need one of those. So I printed it onto 80 pound white cardstock. I uh, cut it out and I inked up the edges and it's good to go. The next thing you're going to need is page 
7A, which I'm pretty sure I printed twice. Yes, so 7A, I printed onto 80 pound cardstock. So for, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. My, my light just fell on me. <laughs> okay, so I printed page 7A twice and I printed the flower background design on there and for one of them I cut three of the tabs off and left one long tab off or one long tab on I scored and I inked both sides and then the other page I printed same thing flower the flower version of page 7a and I cut all the tabs off so we've got those two ready to go I cut it out inked it up both sides and then, page 10D, I printed the flower um, version again, and I'm not sure which way I have this, maybe, that doesn't look right, but we'll go with it. So we don't need this part, so I'm going to, uh, I cut this away, and I'm going to set this aside, that's 80 pound white cardstock again, and then this side I cut three of the tabs off and left one long tab on and I put tape on. Oh, I guess I should tell you what side I put tape on there. I inked both sides, but I put tape on the side that has the print on it. And for the page 7A that I did that, I did the tape on the side that has the print on it as well, not the plain side. Okay, so that's all we need out of there. And then out of the Basically Amazing Enchanted add-on, we are going to use page 11A. So it looks like this. It doesn't, I didn't print it, it's just plain, the plain version. It looks like this. I cut the two side tabs off, left the one bottom tab, and it didn't matter. This one doesn't have anything on it, but um, I put the tape on this side. And then the last thing we're going to need out of the templates is page 14A. So it looks like this. Again, white cardstock, printed the flower version of this template. We're not going to use the top part of 14A today, so I'm going to put that aside, but we are going to use the bottom part. So I uh, scored all three tabs, inked them up, put tape on the flower side because this is going to be a pocket. So let's get that put together for now and then we'll do all of the matting. Okay. Okay, so we're going to we're going to set the mat the mat for the cover aside. We are going to use one of page 7A which is the main base page, the one that doesn't have any tabs on it. We're going to have that as our center. And then this one's going to get attached here, and this one's going to get attached here. So we are going to do it like that, I think. So to have a, this will close in, that will close in. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's just start with the shorter one here. I am going to remove the tape backing just a little bit off of there. I'm going to line this up, not going over the score. Like that. I didn't do too, too bad. It's not perfect, but it's okay. So. And then this page here, 7A, that has the one tab, we're going to put it on this side. Did I tell you there's going to be timestamps below as well? I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'll have timestamps in the description box and the first pinned comment below the video. So, I'm pretty sure it's not perfect, but it's okay. And 
And that's going to go there like that. All right. So on the front here, so we've got 7A flips out 7A, 10D. So on the front of this, we're going to put a pocket. And we're going to put a flap. So on the pocket, I have cut it to where it's straight across where it doesn't overlap because we're going to have to put the, the, the long tab down first because I need to figure out where a magnet needs to go here. So we are going to just attach the bottom tab of this one. Somehow I got that wonky. Let's all get out. How did I do that? I have no idea. It's pretty wonky though. Okay. So let's go ahead and put a piece of tape. Whoa. Just so inserts don't get stuck on. Whoa. Stuck on that lip there happens all the time. Okay, so then that's going to go there. I'm a little aggravated that that's wonky. When I put it down, I'm going to have to be better. I'm going to put a paper clip on it right now, though. And then this flap is going to go up here, like that. Alright, I'm going to remove the backing. Okay, so we got the flap, we got the pocket, open, open. Okay. So, the next thing we need to figure out is magnet placement. So this is going to go here. As a matter of fact, I could probably go ahead and glue this down. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's remove the tape backing on all of these. Let's put some glue on there first. <laughs> we can't just stick it down. <laughs> Sorry I've been so quiet today in today's video. Sorry I've just been a little out of sorts today. My poor dog. She's having some issues. She has she has a tumor on her tushy. It's a huge like you know mass, I guess. So she's scheduled for some surgery and she won't quit licking it. We put a balloon on her around her, not a balloon, a pillow, not a balloon, <laughs> a pillow around her neck. You know, they make those instead of the cones, but she can still reach it. So she licks it and it's just raw and it's gross and it's just gross. It's just gross. Anyway, and so since she's been having trouble with that, she's not been being able to hold her urine very well. <laughs> I know, it sounds grody gross. So anyway, so she's peeing all over the place, so she has to wear a diaper, and it's just so nasty, so nasty. Bless her heart, and you know she hates it. She's super uncomfortable. But I'm hoping that once we get this taken off of her, she'll be much better. That's what my hope is anyway. Okay. So anyway, I'm just kind of off my game, I guess. 
I don't know how many magnets we're going to end up using in this project, but by golly, we seem to be using a lot. All right, I'm just going to see if all of these are needed or necessary. And they probably are because this is going to be kind of heavy and it's going to be on the cover. So I think what I'll do is I'll put glue dots on the back of all of these little magnets and then we'll, pr we'll press that into place. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, now I'm just going to be very careful and I'm going to place this I'm going to try to center it That's throwing me off And then I'm going to cover these with tape. Okay, so my camera battery died. <laughs> it does that when I'm creating. <laughs> because I'm not thinking about it, I'm not focused on it, and then all of a sudden, just powers right down. That's okay. Okay, so I put tape on there just to keep them, to keep them from moving around. The next one, I think we're gonna put one right there too, to keep this closed. We'll see, but I think that's what we're gonna do. I'll put a piece of tape on that. You can always just use Velcro, you guys. You can always just tie things closed. You can just leave them flapping. You don't. You don't have to use magnets. I just like them. I just. I think they make things look pretty. And look. So I'm gonna close this up. Wonderful. Okay, now we have the fun part. Well, I hope that wasn't out of focus, you guys. My camera is setting something changed on it. I don't know. Weird. Weird. Okay, the fun part. Uh, decorating. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this from there and put that aside. And we're just going to work from here. Alright, so I've pretty much cut out and prepped everything. Let me get some of the pieces out here. So for this front cover, I traced the mat out of this page here. I kind of wanted to um, trace it to where I could cut certain things off. You know, I still wanted to have a little bit of this, a little bit of the tree, a little bit of the flower. So I traced the mat onto that. I cut it out. I inked it up. And I'm going to put this up with my other pieces. So this is going to be the mat for here. And we're going to go ahead and glue it down. Okay. I'm gonna glue it down 
right here. I might even do a wax seal right here. I think that'd be fun. We should probably do that. Not right this second, but. Okay, so the next thing is I printed the, this is from the vintage collage, the green, this green colored paper. I printed this from that and we're gonna mat it right here is we're just gonna but we're also going to do a little bit of decorating so i have a photo mat from my photo mats essentials or you can use your basically amazing add-on photo mats um, i got one of those and then this is one of the embellishments from the ephemera pack right i just i did cut out a little oops sorry i did cut out a little bit off of the edge just because it was a little bit you know bigger than I wanted and then I found the butterflies that we're going to use okay so the butterflies that we're going to use are let me find you, we've used them before these are from my porch prints I'll have them linked down below it's an Etsy, sh Etsy shop so you get a variety page and then there are um specific colors right so this is where i've got most of mine stored that i've already got cut out this is an ephemera holder a butterfly ephemera holder that i made to house butterflies i made this using the um the uh add-on scrap journal i'm pretty sure that's what i did it's been a while so anyway you can see all the different colors and then there's other people's uh, butterflies in here but that I liked that pack because it had a bunch of different colors it had a whole bunch of different colors and I thought that was pretty so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ink this up and this is the butterfly that I chose I think it might have been in the variety pack it's kind of a greenish bluish color it's super pretty so I'm gonna give everything well, I got everything. I'm going to give these two things a little bit of a inking. Also, I'm going to I'm going to stamp my four by six on the photo here, like that. It's from my stamp set. And I couldn't decide. I think I'm going to put it up here. So I'm going to I'm going to mat this down here. I'm going to do that now. This is on 28 pound white paper. They uh, printed the photo mats on. So I guess I don't need to put the lid on. I'm just going to put it on here where it's like equal all the way around. Can you see? Yeah, you can. So, looks like that. Then I was thinking about doing this. Living your dreams. What do you think? I like it. Okay, let's do this first. We're just going to put glue on the top half. I hope my I hope I get to feeling a little bit perkier soon. I feel like I'm depressed or something. <laughs> you guys, I feel feeling odd. All right, I'm just gonna put just a little bit on here. I just stuck my finger in something. There, that looks pretty good. What can you see? Let me scooch you in. So that's what we've got right now. Uh oh. <laughs> My camera's sliding. Okay, sorry. 
So we're going to go ahead and mat the back of this with that. That looks super cute. Okay. Okay, there's my glue. That keeps sticking my finger in. All right, so we've got that flap. That looks good. What do I have for here? I did, I do have, I do, I do, I do. This is printed from the vintage uh, collage the green version this is the page that I picked and I think I'm gonna mat the inside of this with that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that too because I traced it out when I could I could have printed it out you know the um, the mat onto this page that I'd already printed but I just traced it and cut it Either way. I actually prepped all this like Friday. Today's Monday, so Father's Day was yesterday. So I prepped all this Friday. I think it was Friday. So I'm trying to just remember what my thoughts were when I was doing it. Did you guys have a nice Father's Day? I bet you did. We did. My, oops, my oldest son. And his wife had like a little cookout for the dads for his daddy which my husband and for his father-in-law his wife's um, dad it was fun it was nice it was it was very very relaxing okay so as, even though there's, I can't tell in my monitor if there's a good contrast there or not. I'm, I'm thinking there is. So <laughs> I'm hoping there is. Okay, so we got that. And then the only other thing I think I've got prepped and ready is a set of mats. Hold on. So here's what I was thinking. So this opens up. And we got this flap. But then we also have this back. So I was thinking about doing a continuous pattern, which obviously I did do that because um, it's already cut out and inked up. <laughs> so my thought was, ooh, let's do a pattern. What is going on over here? That we can go all the way across, even though you're not going to see it at the same time, if that makes sense. I just thought it would be nice. So I traced this mat out for this page first, and then I traced this one out, and then these were the bottom pieces. And did I have to cut something off the side? I'm pretty sure I did. Over here, maybe? Yep. So that is how I cut this out. So I, I traced this one, and then I traced this one right next to it, and then cut them out. So I don't know, I just think it looks kind of cool. If it was taken off of the book, and looked at as a whole. I think it just looks kind of cool. So not only that, but then I took this piece and I did like a little fussy cut and a little special cut here so that we could put a photo mat. I just have this one out for reference, but yeah, that's pretty cool, right? So I think what I'll do is I inked it up a little bit so that it stands out just a little bit. Did I just ink the one side? Let's ink the other side. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark on here not to go past there for the glue. Oh, but then I've got those. Oh, shoot. What am I going to do there? Okay, whoops. I completely forgot about those. So you're not going to believe it. They are, they are hidden. 
Oh, that is too perfect. Okay. Well, there you go. That's that's almost too perfect. All right, we're going to take the tape backing off. here. Like that. And then I'm just going to run some glue there and here and this side. Like that. No. Yeah. That's right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh. Nope. It wasn't perfect. Shoot. How did I mess that up? Okay. Hold on. Well, I thought it was perfect, but not that one. I just need a piece of paper. I need to find a piece of paper. I'm just looking in the garbage. How about this? There, that should do it. I guess I could have um, lined the whole thing, but there it is, all done. So the hope is this will still work as a, yeah. Perfect, I'm just gonna leave that there just for placeholder for now. But there's that, and then this one, let's go ahead and add it. Okay. So it attached there, so this opens up. Cute, I haven't, don't have anything prepped for the pocket. This opens, this opens, right? And then the whole thing comes off and we've got that. So we'll put photo mats and stuff here. I think that'll look really, really good. All right, I do want to do a wax seal, so let's do it. I'm gonna bring in my candle. I'm gonna find my, my spoon. I'm gonna put some beads. Like that. There's my little stamp. I've got the flower stamp. So I'll put it I'll put it right here. I think that'll be good. That'll look good. Get a new. I dropped my, or I knocked my thing in there. Oopsie. Couldn't get it to light back. Okay.
and just repeat it down. Ta da! Let me bring the whole thing back out here. Yeah, that looks cool. And then, oops, the back side doesn't look as cool. That's because I dropped it in there and it got some of that clear wax. And, and that's okay. We're just going to go with it. Maybe I can scrape some of it off. So it got onto my mat and stuff. But again, it's okay. We're just going to go with it. Can you see? All right. So... Okay, that's that. Let me move you back out. I think we might, that might be all we're going to do today because one, that's all I have prepped. And two, I'm just, my energy level is so low. Okay, so that's going to go there. So this opens up like this. We have a pocket here. We have a photo mat and embellishment cluster here. I was thinking you could do a little writing, you know, right here about what this picture is about or what's, the, you know, what's going on in the event. Then this opens up like this. And this opens up like this. So you have all this room. Let me erase the numbers that I put there. All this room for the photos, right? You put photos there if you want. Then this completely comes off. And you have a photo mat area along with a pocket where you can slide stuff. So you could, if you wanted to put a photo mat down here, and then you can slide your additional photos in there. Yeah. Or if you didn't do the little fussy cut with the, all I did was take a crack knife and just cut along that edge just following the picture. If you didn't want to do that, you could just literally have this as a photo map area. So, yeah. All right, so I think that's all we're going to do today. Um, I think it turned out pretty, co pretty cool, and I also think that having both of these with a magnet is kind of fun. So they're using the same magnets on either side of the cover. It's just uh, interactive removable elements um, yeah give you more bang for your buck so yeah I like the way this turned out you guys let's see I don't know the best way to photograph it though let's go like this <laughs> like I'm not I'm not done talking to you guys yet am I <laughs> so anyway I like the way this turned out I think it turned out really cute it's a really cute little interactive element we'll have to finish it up um, in a, a, a video later on down the road we have certain embellishments and things left over um, yeah so be sure to check out the description box below and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy tutorial videos and keep your fingers crossed that my puppy will be okay. She's not a puppy. She's 13. But keep your fingers crossed and send out some prayers. She's going to be okay. But she's just stressing me out. And I know she's not happy. And Anyway, so hopefully I'll be in a better headspace next time I record. And thank you so much for joining me, guys. Joining me, guys. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.